Good afternoon and welcome to the Sports Broadcasting Camp and News Center. I'm JJ Moser and joining me are Ezra Hernandez, uh, Parker Latour, and Max Singley. Is there a new best basketball player in the world or is it the same guy many have been t touting as the best in the world for the last three years? Or one can certainly argue that the Mavericks' Luka Doncic is the GOAT now that he has led his upstart Dallas Mavericks team into the NBA Finals for Game 1 against Boston on Thursday night. The perennial All-Star is averaging 31 points, 9.4 rebounds, and 8.2 assists per playoff game and 12 wins over the LA Clippers, OKC, and Minnesota Timberwolves. Dallas was the number five seed into the West heading to the playoffs, but have been unstoppable, especially on the road, where they have won all three games against the Wolves in the Western Conference Finals. Meanwhile, the East's top seed team, the Celtics, are heavily favored to beat the Dallas Mavs and earn the team's first NBA title since 2008. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are arguably just as good, if not a better team, than Dallas's dynamic duo and are more playoff experienced. The Celtics are also counting on a healthy Kristaps Porzingis to help, them, to help lead them to a title. Dallas newly had a second team in a major sports final this week, but the Stars were defeated in the NHL Western Conference Finals by Edmonton last weekend. Edmonton will play game one of the Stanley Cup Final instead at Florida this Saturday night. The Panthers, who had a 110 regular season points and enhanced to this post by, by beating Tampa Bay, Boston, and New York Rangers, are red hot and poised to win their first title. The Panthers lost to Vegas in the finals a year ago. The Oilers arguably have their best squad since the Wayne Gretzky days. Led by star center Connor McDavid, who is playing his first cup in nine years of being in the NHL. He has five goals and 26 assists in 18 playoff games and is a three-time Hart Trophy MVP winner in the league. Florida has a captain, Alexander Barkov, who leads them in points, toughness, and highlight plays. Other stars are Matthew Kachuk and goalie Sergei Bubrovsky. Edmonton is trying to become the first Canadian team to win a cup since 1993. The Oilers sunk. Uh, the Oilers goalie is a, is Stuart Skinner. It's not football season yet, but there is giant football news. According to an ESPN report, Justin Jefferson will not be leaving the Minnesota Vikings. The network is reporting that Jefferson has signed a four-year deal worth $140 million. This deal makes Jefferson the highest paid non-quarterback in league history. Jefferson passes A.J. Brown and Amon, and Amon Ross St. Brown as the highest paid receivers in the league. Dallas, meanwhile, is hoping to come to terms with CeeDee Lamb, its star wideout. Lamb missed the team's minicamp last week and will, re and will reportedly be fined, according to an ESPN report. In, base in baseball news, the MLB has announced it has permanently banned San Diego Padres player Tutu Pika Mocano. <laughs> I can't guess. Tutu Pika Mocano from the game for betting on games as a member of the Pirates last season. Commissioner Rob Manfred said that the MLB has a long-standing no-tolerance policy on betting on baseball by active players. He said that Marcano had made over 200 bets involving Pirates last year. That is a lot of bets on the Pirates, guys. 61 games into the MLB season, two long-standing franchises, the Yankees with the most World Series championships of all time, and the Phillies, the team with the most losses of all time, are tied for, the f for first with the best record in the MLB with records of 42 wins and 19 losses. The Phillies have been doing it with the pitching. Zach Wheeler, Ranger Suarez, and Aaron Nola have combined for 23 wins, while Bryce Harper and Alec Bohm are, ha Bohm are having MVP years at the plate. The Yankees are being carried by Aaron Judge and Juan Soto at the plate. Well, that will do it for this edition of Sports Broadcasting Camp Center. Tune in tomorrow for more sports news. For my co-hosts, Ezra Hernandez, uh, Max Singley, and Parker Lazor. See you guys next time on the talk show. See ya.